the 1st of September, 2024. Today marks exactly three months since we left behind our home, friends, family, and everything familiar to embrace our new life on the road, full-time. It may not sound like much, but some days it just feels as though a lifetime has already passed. I suppose that's because each day is overflowing with new experiences, sights and sensations. As autumn approaches, the streets begin to quiet down again, especially in this beautiful but lesser known corner of Spain. We have arrived in Carnota, a small town where the Atlantic Ocean meets the mountains, and the authenticity of this place truly lingers in the air. One of the most sacred places in Galicia is Monte Pindo, a mountain that was once a dwelling place for ancient gods, spirits and giants. Once upon a time it was the Celtic tribes who inhabited these surroundings. Like all pigeons, they viewed nature as holy and prayers were whispered in rivers forests, and on this summit, where the veil to the spirit world is said to be especially thin, even to this day. In these myths, mountains often represent strength, protection, and the ethereal nature of the gods. As such, Monte Pindo was revered as a special stronghold, where divine energies were concentrated. Local legends tell of gods descending from the mountain to interact with mortals, and stories passed down through generations speak of magical happenings, hidden treasures, and powerful spirits inhabiting its peaks and valleys. I love these myths about Galicia, and there is truly a certain energy threading through the highlands. Is in a while that places like these exist? Yet, nature is not honored in the same way anymore. I wonder when that changed. Every time we take a hike like this, we remind ourselves that we should do it much more often. It's such a simple act in itself, you know, just to get out there, in nature. But it holds so much magic. The climb was fairly easy and the surroundings were absolutely breathtaking. We made it to the summit just in time for the most incredible sunset, with the moon lingering behind our shoulders. From up here you get a stunning view of Carnota, the Atlantic Ocean and small fishing villages along the coastline. What a special night you guys! There is a way for us to go to bed and wake up in a new place every single day. And I love that freedom that life on the road offers. But let me tell you, there is something truly special about every now and then slowing down, committing to one spot and really getting to know it. Because as you start to become familiar with a place, you naturally begin to see it with more thought and care. Because you're no longer just passing through, you become a tiny part of it. And that connection makes you appreciate it even more. To be honest, there are countless places where we stayed the night that we don't even remember the names of. But I know we'll never forget the time we spent here. Coming as travelers, but leaving with a small sense of belonging, which I think is pretty awesome. I mean, what a beautiful way to create profound memories.
We just found such an incredible spot and it's Saturday so I have prepared something really simple yet super special that we are going to have for dinner up here in the mountains. So this is the main character for tonight, our super pretty fondue pot, which is quite heavy, takes up a fair amount of space and so not suitable to be traveling around with in a small van. And it's still so absolutely worth it. Look at this, some fresh bread and some cheese, or a lot of cheese actually. It's gonna be so good. Just above town, numerous wind turbines dot the mountain ridge. It looks quite spectacular. And I can't believe we caught this place on an almost wind-free day. This will be one of the last dinners we cook for ourselves before leaving this hidden gem of Galicia, so we wanted to make it special. And you can never really go wrong with bread and melted cheese. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's some Spanish party going on and the music is so loud. <laughs> so making this slow travel journey and living out of our van is about so much more than just the adventure. It's also about growth. We definitely have certain dreams and goals that we work towards every single day we spend out here. And even if I haven't shared much about it yet, let's just say that we are not on this journey to return as the same people that we were when we left. Because where would the expansion be in that? But I also realized the importance of allowing days where nothing is done with the intention of expanding, achieving, enhancing a career or advancing in any way to avoid falling into the trap of doing things solely for the purpose of progress and make sure that we also make decisions based on joy. The other day I read something that really resonated with me. Many of us doesn't even know how to celebrate, only how to struggle. I felt that because I think I've been that person, caught in the cycle of constantly doing in order to feel fulfilled. But not only do I believe we accomplish less by living life as a battle, our lives won't be as rich if we forget to, you know, actually have fun. After all, what's the point of the journey if we can't pause to experience the magic? Thank you.